biggest benefit of living in Amsterdam is that you have the, the possibilities of a, of a big metropole, but the atmosphere of a, of a, of a small village. Uh, my name is Ruben Bunder. I own an art gallery and I'm a chef. Today I'm going to take you to my favorite spots in Amsterdam. We are standing on the southern church tower. And you, behind this tower I grew up and that house right over there is my parents' house, it still is. And now I live like 100 meters that way. Hey Ma, can you one more time swaaien? Yeah, you can see my Ma's waving right over there and yelling. Hi! Hello, kids! <laughs> Amsterdam is built up through canals. And within the first canal, that's the area where we are right now. So it's the oldest part of the city. What really, really keeps me here is I know every inch, every stone of it. I know everything. I think I do. But I still, after 25 years, I still discover things when I'm walking around here. So it's, it's never dull. It's, uh, well, and it's beautiful. Well, we are now in the, the center of the Newmarket area, the actual Newmarket. You can see it's one of the oldest parts of Amsterdam. If you look at the houses and every, every, everything comes together here. And now we're gonna have my first coffee of the day. We're gonna do that at Latte, it's my favorite coffee bar, it's just around the corner. So let's go. You have the best coffee in Amsterdam. You can have that here. You can have very nice sandwiches and fruit juices and everything. And the fun fact is that you can buy everything here, what you see. So this vase or this table or this chair or all the lamps that you see on top of the ceiling and the, everything is for sale. This is the, one of the most beautiful parts in Amsterdam because of the diversity. With lots of shops for, for clothing, coffee bars, sandwich shops, and it's Chinatown as well. There's happening stuff here all the time. It's fun. So here's where I drink my coffee, but if you're looking for something stronger, like Geneva, you can go to the best Geneva bar in town, which is just around the corner. This is uh, a Geneva bar called uh, In the Olofsport, in one of the really the oldest buildings in Amsterdam. They have more than 60 uh, Genevas here. So in combination with this old building to drink this really old classical Dutch distillate is, well, it's fun. It's, it's nice to drink it in, in an environment like this, like a brown cafe, where nothing really has changed for the past 400 years, except for electricity and stuff. <laughs> We are now in a public courtyard. There are approximately 10 courtyards like this, which are open for the public. There are way more like places like this in Amsterdam. Only 10 are open where you just can walk in and relax and take in the silence. You don't hear the trams or the, or the traffic or the noises. So it's like going back in time when you, when you walk in a, a courtyard like this. We are now here at an old steam mill factory. They have built a cultural center in it. So you have theater, you have uh, exhibitions, you have a very nice restaurant, cafe, kind of, some kind of supermarket dish. You have a beach, a city beach. It's really nice. This is the way I want to spend my summer. Because from the water, Amsterdam is even more beautiful than when you're walking down the street. There are multiple choices you can have, like this one beside us, or you can rent a boat yourself, if you know how to handle one. We are now going to a restaurant, and we're 
Gonna have a small boat ride and then have dinner. The restaurant Ram Island is, um, is a former illegal broadcasting island. It lasted for a month and then it, uh, uh, it had been rusting for 40 years in the North Sea. And they did, then they dismantled it and put it back together here in Amsterdam. It's a really nice, easy-going, French-orientated restaurant. The food is good, it's not too expensive and the view is, uh, is amazing. After we're done eating, we're going to the Club Trouw, which is, the, I think, the best club in Amsterdam. It's in a, an old building where they made newspapers until 10 years ago or something. Then it was empty for a couple of years and then they built a club in it. It's big and it has the same atmosphere as Rem Island. It has, the, it has its raw edges. And um, well, during the Amsterdam Dance Event in October, if you go there, you have the biggest headliners. I can recommend it. If you want to get to know Amsterdam, take a week. Not a day or two days, just come by and have a good time. So, I'm going to have a party and uh, maybe I'll see you at the Trouw. So, goodbye.